Hello everyone, today we are going to install the new version of ANSYS that came out this month, which is version 2025R1. To do this we enter this link. I will leave the address in the description of the video. And we go here to the bottom where it says ANSYS student. We enter here we have the new version 2025R1. We are going to see the new features that this version brings. We are going to go exactly to this option that says what it includes and the main new feature that this new version brings is ANSYS Rocky. A software to do particle simulation. With which I imagine I want to enter into competition with Alter. Altair is another software that also has its particle simulation module which can also be accessed. Later we will make a comparison between the two software. What are the advantages and disadvantages and what each one offers as a free version. We are going to move up here the part of size limits that is what comes and in this case. We are going to see we have for example the ANSYS student license for structural simulation 128 element nodes and for the simulation of fluids 1 million cells ANSI rocky nodes comes in total to be able to use 32 particles. This for simple simulations and learning will be useful to us. However, if you want to work on large projects it is enough. It also comes with a limit of SPH elements which comes to be smooth. Particle hydrodynamics or smooth particle hydrodynamics. In total in this case we have 128,000 elements. It does not have availability to use the GPU, that is, the graphics card. However, we do have availability to use the modules and scripts. However, also in a limited way. Here below to use ANSYS HPC parallel simulation. We are still using only 4 cores. Of our processor, this would be the most important implement that comes with this version. Insufficient to do important work. But for learning purposes we can begin, once you have downloaded the software. After you have clicked here, I have it downloaded here. We are going to unzip it, in this case I am going to install this version on Windows 11. Although it indicates that the program has to be installed on Windows 10. You can also install it on the Windows 11 version, we are going to unzip it. Here we have the folder that weighs in total, we will see here in options, properties. This folder weighs a little more than 15 GB. But you need 50 GB at least on your hard drive to do the installation. We enter here we will go to the bottom where it says setup, C. We right click and we will run it as administrator. This part is very important, we run it and the following window appears. We accept the terms and conditions, we click next. Remember that it is important to install on the C drive to avoid any incompatibility. We will leave the default folders. We continue in next here the installation process will begin. We will wait a few minutes for this to conclude. After a few minutes the installation has concluded. We click here on exit, and now we are going to open this new version of ANSYS. We write word bench 2025R1 we click there. This message will appear, in this case I do not want to participate. I click on OK and then here you will have the new version of ANSYS 2025. R1 installed here system analysis if we go down we will see that it says. Dynamic particles dynamics rocky particles we select here we are going. To open it to verify that the new design modeler program is also working. In this case remember to activate private networks select public networks for a. Security issue everything is opening normally here we have the new version. Of ANSYS we are going to create any solid. A box in this case generate we close. The program just to verify that everything is working correctly. Let's click here on Rocky setup here we have ANSYS. Rocky 2025 R1 is the main new feature of this version. Later we will do tutorials about it. Well friends, as you can see the installation has concluded satisfactorily. If you have any questions or queries about the installation please do so in the comments, greetings all.